Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Petty. During the past 35 years, my wife, Dr. Linda Petty, and I have been involved with the care and treatment of elephants. We depend on the appropriate use of the guide and tether as tools to make it safe for us to work around elephants and to avoid the unnecessary use of chemical restraint, which as we all know, carries risk. Over the past 20 years, there has been a groundswell of veterinary R&D efforts involving mega herbivores, for which training and control of the individual animal is necessary. As you may be aware, there has been tremendous advancements made in the areas of diagnostics, therapeutics, reproduction, surgery, and anesthesia with the mega herbivores. Much of this work has been accomplished with elephants, but the same techniques are also applied to other species. This work is a win-win-win for all of these species, many of which are either already endangered or headed rapidly in that direction. For thousands of years, elephants in human care have assisted man by working in the forests of Asia, building, hauling, logging, and even engaging in warfare. For centuries, elephants have played an important role in religion. Elephants deserve the best of care. In the past 20 years, there's been amazing progress in the diagnostics, care, and treatment that veterinarians are able to provide elephants. Much of the progress can be directly attributed to the training and tractability of the elephants themselves. The important part of the exam is obviously looking at her tongue and her teeth. And with good training, this is easily done. Also the tusks, we get a chance to look at the tusks, examine those both sides. Good girl. Good girl. All right. An important part of any medical procedure, of course, is knowing the weight of an animal. These animals, if trained, will easily get on a scale. Okay. All on? Okay. 7,620 pounds. Nice weight for a young lady. Healthcare and research projects can be accomplished without distressing a well-trained elephant and without necessitating the use of drugs to induce tranquilization or anesthesia. Try this with a wild elephant on the plains of Africa. You can catch a urine specimen on command in a well-trained animal. Very good, Ty, very good. Approaches to elephant management and training have developed into a continuum of training techniques. These techniques range from the handler working next to the elephant, to the handler working the elephant only through or from behind a barrier, to a large array of techniques in between with a varying amount of direct or potentially direct physical contact with a handler allowed. This is the chute in which the male elephant is restrained. He is trained to go into this chute because he's fed and watered there. As you can see, this is all done remotely so that nobody is at risk. Husbandry tools used in the training and care of elephants are a key factor in keeping veterinarians safe and allowing them access to the elephants with little or no need for drugs. The guide is used as, well, a guide. Tethers are invaluable in keeping the elephant restrained. However, tethering an elephant that has not been desensitized to the process can be stressful and would be detrimental to an elephant whose health is already compromised. The elephant must be accustomed to and comfortable with the tethers. This requires practice on a regular basis. This is a demonstration of, uh, of a, a, a tethered elephant laying down and show you the ease with which they can lay down and get up even though they're tethered. An elephant who's laying down like this gives me ample opportunity to come in, do an exam, check her ears, uh, actually even draw a blood sample if I need to, uh, laying down. I can look at her skin, 
They can do all sorts of things with her laying down like this. Uh, and as you can see, this is easily done with her tethered. This is a sputum collection technique that we use in elephants. It's a very important diagnostic test. It's going to be, we're going to, in, and uh, if you'll take, uh, Joanne will help me here. She's going to hold her trunk. We insert sterile saline. The, the saline is moved up and down the interior of the trunk. A sterile baggie is then applied over the tip of the trunk. And on the command of blow. All right, blow. All right, blow. The sample is collected. This is titrated into a sterile container, and this will be sent off to the lab for bacterial analysis. Eight-month-old JP learns quickly under the watchful eye of his mother, Rosie. He's tethered for several minutes at a time to learn that he will be comfortable and safe. Okay, this is JP. Uh, JP is a, a, a young Asian male, about nine months old. And we're just going to show you a little bit how we've already started using the guide with him and how we let him accept it. Trunk, foot. And we just very gently use him. And, all right, foot. Foot. All right. Get over. And we just want him to know what it is. Get over. Get over. Steady. All right, get over. It's just a guide. We're just showing him, just helping him, just to guide him around where we need him to be. All right, come here. Move up. Steady. All right, back. Back. Steady. All right, move up. Steady. Good boy. That's a good boy. Two-year-old Tucker is a seasoned pro. Steady. Trunk. All right, lay down. Lay down. That's a boy. Steady. All right. Steady. Trunk. Trunk. Steady. All right, sit. Up. Steady. All right, get over. All right, move up. Steady. This training helps with the trunk washes that we need to do. All right, pick it up. Trunk, steady. All right, blow. Good. All right, good boy. This is the guide that we use to, to basically guide the elephant. Uh, it has a, a, an end, a pointed end to push him away. It has a curved end here to pull him to us. Um, basically, it's used uh, to control the elephant, the same as a leash on a dog, uh, reins on a horse, uh, you know, a bit in their mouth, a halter, whatever, because obviously they're too big to put a bridle on or to put a halter on to control him. So we use the guide for that. Simple thing is trunk, foot just to lift their foot, and then Dr. Petty can come in and examine it. Training elephants when they're young has great advantages. Tusco was trained when he was a youngster, but like other bull elephants and males of many species, Tusco began to exhibit natural, aggressive behaviors as he matured sexually. His early training makes him more tractable and understanding of behaviors asked of him now that the trainer cannot safely share the same space with him. Because of Tusco's previous traveling experience, he's able to be transported between facilities for natural breeding without undue stress or affecting his um, performance. How do you diagnose an elephant ailment? Well, if you have a well-trained patient, the veterinarian can provide the best possible care. Obviously, blood samples are a very important part of diagnostics. This is where we pull bloods, and a well-trained animal makes all the difference in the world. Very good. 
Once an elephant has been diagnosed, how does the veterinarian administer treatment? What we're using um, is just a regular six ounce stainless steel dose syringe and we've modified the nozzle. Uh, we've made it a little bit longer and then we've bent it for the curvature of the mouth. And then this is a, uh, a bite block. It's made out of hard wood and then we have a hole in the center of it so we can reach our hand into the elephant's mouth. And then this is how we medicate. We put the nozzle through the hole back into the elephant's mouth very carefully and shoot the medicine. Dixie trunk, open your mouth. Trunk. And you just go in over the back of her, top of her tongue, into the back of her mouth, just being very careful. Trunk, Dixie. Trunk. Good girl. All right. Trunk. With time and practice, it gets even easier. Oral medication is very important. Let me show you how easy it is to administer when they're well trained. Good. Good girl. We open wide. Good. Reproductive experts must have complete faith in elephant trainers and their ability to control their four-ton charges as they assume precarious positions to complete an artificial insemination. This procedure is accomplished without the use of drugs. Artificial insemination has been one of the recent advancements in uh, the care of these mega herbivores, and especially so in the, in the Asian elephants, which we know are endangered. And I would like to point out here, this is the this is the rack on which the female must stand and accept the manipulations that occur during artificial insemination. Okay, you'll notice that Becky backs up to the rack, positions both legs. No. Thank you, Becky. When the artificial insemination or natural breeding comes to fruition after 22 long months, the goal is a healthy baby elephant. Many female elephants have not had the experience of learning how to be a mother, and since every newborn elephant is precious, we do our utmost to ensure the safety of the infant at birth, along with appropriate maternal care. To accomplish this, we make sure the mother is tethered, allowing for plenty of movement to aid in the delivery process. When the baby arrives, it usually comes with a vigorous kick from mom's hind leg. Most often, the mother continues to kick in her discomfort and confusion. The baby must be quickly pulled out of harm's way. He's introduced to mom with supervision after he's checked out by the veterinarian and after mom has had time to calm down. Foot care is a very, very important part of the care of elephants. When they're well trained, you can see it makes a tremendous difference. You can see the use of the guide is simply used to position the animal. Training elephants ensures that they can receive the care they deserve. Being able to comfortably load and unload an elephant to go and seek medical care, or for any reason, is a very good asset. And this is something that takes training and time. Since elephants, like people, don't usually walk any further than they have to, training assures that they get adequate exercise. Veterinarians appreciate the safety and cooperation that training provides. None of the procedures shown here could have been done so readily without the training which employs the use of the guide and the tethers.